Man just came off the stage and, and murdered it, man. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling great. I'm fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling man, great. off the new year properly, you know, this was your first show since you've you been injured. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how you feeling, man? You know, um, but first of all, first of all, I'd like to apologize to all my fans and everybody that support me, um, my label, Maybach Music Group and Atlantic Records for... Um, doing something that was really reckless on my behalf and, you know, not thinking about my fans, not thinking about my family, not thinking about the people who work for me or the people that I work for, so I apologize for that. But um, the first show to be back on my own two feet with no cash, no stretcher, no wheelchair feels great. And um, it couldn't have been more perfect than January the 1st of 2015, man. Mm. You couldn't ask for it no better way, so I'm feeling great. It's crazy because um I you, you know you had a period where you had to sit down and, and think and reevaluate some things and uh -huh. uh, Wale kind of went through the same process and I feel like I see like a, a humbleness and a and a and a, a drive that you guys now have that was that y'all were there you know what I'm saying but I feel like it's at a whole nother level now can you just talk about you know um, sitting down well, like well, what that well, does first to of first of all first of all <coughs> first of all. We had to sit back and think about how blessed we are. Mm. And that's first of all. To have over one million people um, support you and salute you and um, tip their hat as to what you're doing as far as your career, that's a big thing. Right. That's bigger than a blessing, you feel me? That's right. like a preacher having more than 100,000 people as his con congregation to come listen. Right. right. You feel me? So. When you that blessed, you got to stop and think about it. You got to say, you know what, we blessed and we're going to do it for whoever support us. We're not going to worry about the fans that we don't have or the fans that we need to attack. And, and, and I think that's why we feel so good and I think that's why we're going so crazy because we didn't got all the money, all the jewelry, we done fucked all the hoes. We got the spots in Miami, we got the spots in Cali, we got spots in D.C. and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, it's time to get back to the roots, man. We paying bills, we feeding babies. Mm. You feel me? I love that, man. Well, speaking of Miami, you know, you started off the new year. You was down there kicking it off with Ross in the oh, studio. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend going to be mad about this question. But I love you, baby. <laughs> and you know what it is. So let's tell the truth. Let's get through it. What it is. Man, what's up, man? What, what was going on down, down in, in the 305, bro, bro? Um, for New Year's, there was definitely threesomes going on. Mm. There was some good 2015 threesomes. <laughs> Motherfuckers are sharing pussy on a whole nother mm. level now, and it's great. Mm. Um, nah, on a more serious note, I kicked it with Ross. Mm. Got to kick it with Fabulous. Got to kick it with Red Cafe. We went to Club Lib, then we went to Ivy, and we just showed love. We just... We just really hugged each other and, 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 and appreciated each other. We done lost a lot of niggas on the way, right. and it's a few niggas locked up, but we just showed each other love. Like, nigga, we us together. We here right now. We on the streets right now. We on the radio right now. We on the TV right now. So we just showed up to each other like, man, this our year to go hard, stupid hard. Nice, nice. Musically, 2015, what we expecting from Trey? Um, 2015, I'm dropping my tape, Georgetown. I really feel like it's the biggest project and the best project that I've dropped to date. And um, it's my favorite right now. I can't stop playing the music. I just played it for Ross yesterday and the day before yesterday. And um, he feel the same way I feel about it. Georgetown is going to be my best project yet. And I'm going crazy. We speaking that real DC shit. We taking it to Northeast, Southeast, mm -hmm. Northwest, and Southwest. Nice, man. So be on the lookout for that mixtape. Georgetown, Georgetown, 2015. You're going to be on this tour with uh, Wale for the next mm -hmm. two months. You know, mm -hmm. well, how do you expect to grow as an artist performance wise? And, um, you know, just, just the whole DC movement. I really see like there's something special happening right now. How do so, I expect to grow? Yeah. Um, um, we grow every day, first of all. And as a student in the rap game, you gotta learn. You gotta look around. You gotta learn. You gotta watch. You gotta peep niggas. You gotta peep everything. Every statistic, album sales, how many shows a year. You gotta peep everything. To order, in order to be the best, you gotta beat the best. Um, I think also I'm gonna grow as far as you know. I got a son who's gonna be born at the end of this month while we on tour. So while me and Wale thugging it out, I gotta fly to L.A. spend time with. 
shorty mm -hmm. and um go through the delivery process. I got a son on the way, nigga. His first, his first, thank you. His first language gonna be Spanish. Nice. His second language gonna be English. Nice. So that mean I gotta learn Spanish. That mean, nigga, I'm growing as a man. I gotta right. tap into a whole nother world, right. something that I'm not used to. Mm. You feel me? So. Niggas going as men. You to watch me come up. Yeah, you remember yeah, when I was 17, I, banging right. outside the club door and they wouldn't yeah. let me in. Nigga, now we getting it in. We ain't taking nothing for granted. And every day we slow grind, but we hustle hard. Because we want to be the best. And in order to be the best, you got to be the best. That's what Devil MG trying to do. There it is, man. Be want to look out for my man Trail, Georgetown, mixtape. And, uh, you know, I know the fans want to know it. We gonna get that album, baby. Uh, I know. We Come on. Where, where's the album coming? I'm gonna go ahead and keep it 100 with you because mm -hmm. you're my nigga. Absolutely. I played Georgetown for my label in November. And when I played Georgetown for them in November, mm -hmm. and we chose that it was gonna drop in 2015, they automatically said after this drop trail, we are dropping your first album. Nice. Nice. So the fourth quarter of 2015, it's gonna be my first official album, Double MG Atlantic Records, and you know I'm scared, I'm nervous, of course. I definitely wasn't thinking about an album at right, this point, right. but I definitely noticed that I dropped seven mixtapes since I've been in it, and you know mm -hmm. Ross got ten albums. You feel me? So right. we got a lot of catching up to do, and I just want to go hard. I just want to come behind Meek Mill and Stally and Wale, and I just want to be great, but also learn as a student because I'm the youngest nigga on the team. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take my time, but. 2015 has looked like they put that album work on me, man. Woo! Luckily, I've been well prepared for that hey, as far man. as music go and publicity go and shows go and, you know, I, I'm well prepared for that. So, you might get the first official Fat Trail album in 2015. I have no name for it, though. Mm, so, look, get y'all thinking caps on, man. SB crew, listen. Need a name for the album. Producers, get y'all beats ready. Slutty boy, crazy yeah, man. man. Shout out to Dolo. Shout out to the whole 15 Southeast Congress Park. Shout out to uh, Young Mo VA 5000. Shout out to all my niggas out in Maryland, man. Palmer Pop, all my niggas in the streets really getting it in. And shout out to the whole DMV District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia for showing me love. I wouldn't be here without y'all or niggas like Aladdin. Motherfuckers like DJ Reds, Quicksilver, yes, you know what I'm saying? DJ All the money, everybody. Easy Street, man. Angie Ange, yep. DJ Money, especially my nigga DJ Money. Yeah. DJ Money yeah. did my first tape yeah. as a DMV DJ. <laughs> and we went crazy with that. So definitely look out for April Fools too. It is. Hosted man. by DJ Money, man. We're going crazy. Yo, a lot of exclusive shit right here, man. The Latin Prince of Day Ways with Man Trail. Man, I'm telling you, 2015, DMV, DC, or nothing. We coming for you. Hold up, we gone. Gang. Okay.